Let's jump back into our Storyline application now and open the JavaScript editor once again to make some adjustments to our code. I'm going to comment out the console log messages now as I don't need these to appear anymore at the moment. Now I can uncomment the player.setVar line which we created in the last step which will store the URL value to a variable in Storyline. We mustn't forget of course to create the variable itself in the project variables panel. So let's do that now by creating a new text variable named img link. Okay, next we know that when the img link variable changes that we will have our image URL returned from the DALI2 API. We can use this to trigger the reveal of the image on the final layer. So let's create a new trigger on the generating image layer that says show layer reveal image when the variable changes img link. So now that we have brought the user to the reveal image layer we need to replace the blank png in order for them to see our amazing AI creation. So how can we do this? As you may have guessed we need to utilize some more JavaScript magic. We'll start by right clicking on the empty PNG on the slide itself and open the accessibility panel. Here we will assign a data accessibility text value to the image which can be picked up by a query selector JS method. I'll call it my pick, all one word in lowercase. Now let's create a new trigger to execute JavaScript when the timeline starts on the layer. Open the JavaScript editor window and type the following. First the classic var player equals get player open close parentheses and semicolon line which then allows us to get the image URL value from the project variable that we had created. I'm going to store this as a JS variable called img src. Next type var container equals document dot query selector with a capital S and in open close parentheses and single quotes and square brackets type data hyphen acc hyphen text equals and in double quotes my pick. End that line with a semicolon. With this we now have the div container for the blank image defined as a variable in our JS code called container. But we need to work with the actual img or image tag itself in order to change its source value. So next we will type var img elem using a capital E equals container dot get elements with a capital E by with a capital B tag with a capital T and name with a capital N and in open close parentheses and single quotes the word image in lowercase. After the closing parenthesis add an open and close square bracket and type the number zero. End that line with a semicolon. And with that img tag now defined as a variable we can reset its source value by typing img elem with a capital E dot set attribute with a capital A and in open close parentheses and double quotes x link colon h r e f. After the closing double quote we'll add a comma and then img src. End that line with a semicolon. And with that we are done. So click the OK button, save the project once more and republish to the desktop. Let's try generating a new image and see what happens.